breakfast? Breakfast of champions. <laughs> Cliff bar. <laughs> <laughs> At least mine's in the nature valley, so it's healthier because it has the word nature in it. But they did have coffee. The, the blue, what's this place called? Blue Mountain. Yeah. Something for it. Highly recommended. Miriam, check this in. She was a real sweetheart. What was the lady's name this morning? Nadine. Nadine, Nadine. is the grandmother who, of the owner, and she was fantastic. Pointed out all kinds of cool spots on the map we need to go see. Yup. Just and wish we had a week to go see them all. <laughs> rooms are super clean. Uh, you know, quaint. It's just a tiny little roadside motel, but we Worked. had a nice night's great. sleep. We got the family suite with three beds. It was awesome. Sweet Everybody stuff. had their own bed. Nobody had to sleep on the floor. It was good. For the wind. And today's going to be our coldest day of riding. Look at what we're going into. What? Snow caps. Yes, sir. So we're going to ride over the highest peaks. We're We're gonna end up at Bridges National Bridges National Bridges National Forest Bridges National Park Bridges Mo Bridges Monument National Park. Hey, if, you're, if you know anything about the tat map, look at it up on the map. <laughs> look it up on the map. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys soon. It's gonna be an awesome day of riding. Man, you guys, we have an amazing scene up ahead. Where are we headed today? That way. Towards <laughs> the hills. <laughs> up and over the mountain. <laughs> ah, it's going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. we're gonna. Oh, Jason's got a good idea. Stand up, get some airflow. Man. How about yesterday? What did you think of that ride? It was, uh, it was fun and tough and... Challenging and and and. <laughs> it was a good day. It was nice to go ahead and jump back in and do some of those trails around Moab and uh, experience the, the views. Oh my gosh. All that red, man, the red rocks and the red. I mean, it just looked like we were on the moon. If you've never been to Moab, Utah, put it on your bucket list. That's all I have to say. Yeah, man. The amazing thing is today looks like it's going to be totally different. It's going to be green and maybe a little white when we get to the top. <laughs> yeah, well. Lots of forests, lots of green forest roads, I think, is what we're going to be looking into today. Little snow-covered hills, upper elevation. It's going to be beautiful. Look at that. Man, look at the scene to your right. Windmills and then that snow-capped mountain behind it. That's incredible. Man. So guys, I forgot to ask you a very important question. How much gas do you have? Oh, crap. I did. I... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, honestly, we should probably turn around and fill up. Fill her up, please. Yeah, we get so excited about doing this thing, we forgot about the, the, the essentials. <laughs> oh, see, all you guys on video out there, you just see the good stuff. You forget that there's a lot of <laughs> bad things that happen behind the scenes that we have to redo. It wasn't a bad thing. It was just a, uh, a, a situational awareness. Well, warm, that was a warm-up. That was a warm-up departure. <laughs> Now what? Well, here's what you do. Here, here's what you do when you reach a road closed sign. You have to look for the silver lining and everything. All right. So you reach in your pocket and you get your infrared camera that was converted by Kohler Revision. Oh, look at that! The white birch trees against the blue sky. That's going to be an amazing black and white. So, so contrasty. I can't wait. It's a masterpiece!
<laughs> I just saw a four-wheeler go up around it. I think we can get around it and just try. I don't think so. Because? It just happened that the park ranger came by and told us that there is five foot of snow still up <laughs> on the trail up there. So, Chris, you got snow tracks on your bike? No. You know what that means? Alternative route. We're going to make it our own. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's pull out the maps and start. He said go back down to the Blandings campsite and take a right, and then it'll take us over and around and back. Blandings campsite. Blandings B. Okay, let's try it. Man, this is cool, y'all. I know. This is kind of what you were expecting on the mountain. It, well, kind of, yeah. I expect it to be more overgrown and shady, but this is beautiful. Well, I mean, we are on that mountain. We're just on the backside, kind of rolling around it mm. instead of going over it. Gotcha. At this rate, we might be having lunch at Arches. Uh, Bridget, Bridges National, I cannot get that thing straight. <laughs> Bridges National, uh, Bridges Monument National, National Monument. No, Bridges National, Bridges, <laughs> <laughs> Bridges <laughs> National Park Monument. Monument. Bridges National Park Monument, that's it, something like that. Sandy, very sandy. <laughs> yes, it is. Everybody Getting close to the edge. Everybody good? Yep. Yeah. Don't call me Sandy. Call me Steve. Careful, those sandy patches come right up out of nowhere. Yep, right there. Stopping on the ridge. This is pretty cool. This is like, uh, this is what riding on Mars must look like <laughs> without the trees. Without the trees and the, and the tread marks. <laughs> well, how do you know people haven't been there before? You know, Martians <laughs> yeah. and extraterrestrials. 
Did you guys see the drone they flew on Mars? Mm-hmm. That's just unreal, isn't it? It is. It's crazy. Neat, neat to see NASA back at it. You know, there for a while they weren't doing squat. Look at that big rock. Somebody went down there. Oh, that's neat. Oh. No, no, no messing up the rock face with paint. Just stack some rocks. <laughs> Water crossing. Cool. Actually, mud crossing. What's that sand there, Chris? A little bit of that moon dust they talk about. Mm -hmm. On a curve, too. Hey Steve. Can you imagine what this would have been like if it had rained? Oh, I know. Good choice. What's that? Uh, there was a fork in the road and you took the right one. Oh. This is different. Look at that. That's cool. As I go by, can you just check it? Make sure that it's still facing rear. I mean, just make sure the camera's still attached and upright. Yes, 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 yes. Nice. Is that a natural bridge now? That looks like almost like a bridge over there. Mm-hmm. Oh, it probably is, actually. Nah, I think it's just a dark ledge. Entering Ute land, the trespassing wood cutting. Artifact gathering and trash dumping. Are the Utes a uh, Native American tribe? Did you say Utes? Yeah. What is a Ute? Oh, excuse me. They need to reroute the tat down to here, man. This is awesome. Mm -hmm. We could tell them this is the winter route. Uh huh. Or spring or whatever it is. They got the infrared look without the infrared. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. In fact, I might stop and get an infrared. Shoot. I knew that was coming as soon as I said that. <laughs> I'll owe you for this picture idea. How's that? Thank you. Finally, I get a. <laughs> I get some credit. I'm on the right hand side after you turn that corner. And after you pass me, keep going, you guys. Okay. Because, uh, and st veer to the left. Here comes yeah. a car. Car! car! Game on! Game on! Well, when I was in Guatemala and uh, experiencing Tikal, which is the, some of the amazing Mayan ruins down there, I met a guy from Cambodia, who, was, who had come all the way to see these ruins. And he's like, man, these are amazing. But the more I think about it, the more amazing the ruins are in my home country. He, he asked me if I'd ever been to Angkor Wat. I'm like, no, and I started looking it up online. It just looks absolutely amazing. So that is a top five for me. Hmm. Man, boys, look off to the left. I know. Whoa! I'm stopping for a picture. Okie doke. <laughs> and cut. Boy, that 
dust on my hydration thing felt really good. <laughs> yeah. You 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 wanna you wanna wet your mouth from the dust that's in your mouth and you get more dust in your mouth. <laughs> I'm wondering, like, how long has it looked like that? You know, what did it look like before the, that earthquake caused that, you know? Right. You know, we would have missed all this. Oh, we gotta record. <laughs> if that road for the tent had been open. You're exactly right. I'm not thinking that this was such a bad thing. No, see? You gotta make the tag your own, guys. This is cool, isn't it? Well, I don't think we had much choice before. <laughs> this turned out to be a massive win. <laughs> Absolutely. Jason, I want to hear about changes to um, Zebra that you might have done before Tat 4. Changes to Zebra. Well, of course he got new shoes. That's, yeah. you know, almost a requirement. Uh-huh. Uh, we got new front suspension with Race Tech. Right. Yes, with the gold valves in there. Can you tell a difference? Seem to, yes. My thing is I don't have enough experience to have anything to compare it to. I just have done the tat. Gotcha. So, uh, I'm liking it. Let's put it that way. Gotcha. Let's see, we got Turatec suspension in the back. I'll, uh, I'll show a picture of it. I can't remember exactly what the names are. Nice. New brakes. I replaced the GV windshield simply because I want a better view for YouTube videos. Nice. I want to be able to see over it. And I like that what I've got here. It seems to do just enough of blocking the wind and not enough of blocking the view. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I don't. Happy overall, huh? Very happy overall. Very happy overall. Any changes you have, Steve? Well, the only thing I did was I changed up my rear tire. I went from the Moto Z GPS to the Rowls. R A L L Z. It's a significantly more knobby tire. Okay. I figured we would be doing exactly what we're doing right now as far as dirt, sand, and whatnot. So I wanted something that was quote unquote more dirt bike ish. Sweet. And then I did add the Camel ADV um, GPS mount stabilizer to the front, and that has been a huge win. Sadly, I did not put it on the bike sooner. <laughs> oh, and then I also added the Zero um, phone holder slash charger. Thank you, Adam Sandoval. Uh -huh. um, but other than that, that's, that's about it. Oh, I did add a cooler. <laughs> my, little, my little Walmart special, Ozark Trail. Um, I've been impressed by the uh, how well it holds the ice. Mm. Two days, still have some ice in there, still cool. So that's that's a win. And I mean, it's small. I mean, it's sitting back behind my my drive bag. So that's gonna be perfect if we have to free camp. Yeah. Right. How about you, Chris? Anything new since the uh, tent three? Uh, I, I haven't changed a whole lot. Um, added a couple little things. Of course, you know the suspension I upgraded to. <laughs> Um, the rally rate suspension before TAT 3, but that was the biggest change, but So I have new shoes as well. Uh, I kept the TKC 80 up front uh, And in the rear I'm trying out the Shinko 805 It's a very similar tread pattern to the, the uh, TKC 80 um, But it costs a whole lot less so I'm trying that out because the TKC 80 rear tire just doesn't last very long um, and so far it's doing good. I have noticed laterally in, in on trails where I'm sliding left or right in the sand, it's not quite as grippy laterally, but forward, forward momentum, forward grip is every bit as good. Uh, and the real big addition is the new Nelson Rig Commuter Sport tank bag. It is sweet. Very nice, perfect size. It expands if you need it to, you know, if you're gonna stuff an extra sweater or something in there. 
um, but I've got all my DSLR and electronics, my charging ports and everything for drone battery and GoPro battery and everything in there. And it holds everything just right, fits on Trinity's tank perfectly with the magnetic mounts. It's great. <laughs> Picnic table bench about broke when Chris sat down. What did you make out of? What did you make that sandwich out of? Man, this is this. Was, I went out on a limb. I had brought some uh, wraps, low carb wraps. All right. And Chris had some peanut butter and some carrots and celery. And I was like, you know, the peanut butter and celery taste pretty good with the peanut butter by themselves. So I just made a wrap with the peanut butter. Of course, now somebody's gonna say, "Oh, you really don't need carbs." <laughs> but you worked off a lot today. Don't worry. I'm feeling pretty good about this sandwich here, and um, it actually exceeded my expectations. <laughs> it was phenomenal, <laughs> and there's no wrapper when mm -hmm. I'm done. Good call on the stop because I was hungrier than I realized. Mm -hmm. What about this place, man? This is cool. Got a little water pump over there, mm. a little outbuilding over there. This is the ranger station, right? Area somewhere? I said guard station, guard I think you station. said. I wonder what they're guarding. Mm. Probably people they're having lunch. Guarding some poachers. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to go check out the guard station because it looks like it's kind of cool. Mm. Very, very small. Looks like it's got a wood stove. Anyway, here we are, picnic tables out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, un unintended. unintended. The road less traveled. Beautiful cetera, cetera. riding. This whole this whole stage of make it your own has been absolutely incredible. Um, we never would have we never would have come down this road ever. Period. Tat, take another trail. You know, mm. I think. Not Trans America Trail. Take, take another, another trail. trail. <laughs> I like it. You should be a professional marketer. I'm trying. Or turn around and try something different. I like that too. <laughs> turn around and try. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Come on, Chris. I would say tickle a toad. <laughs> we'll call it the tickle a toad <laughs> trail. He is delirious. Don't, just ignore him. <laughs> tickle a toad. <laughs> Chris, what you, what you got in that gator egg is what I want to know. <laughs> You've been licking a toad. <laughs> <laughs> Serene, quiet, peaceful. So, mm. this trail was because the other one was snowed in. Mm -hmm. um, but this one was brilliantly passable mm -hmm. for a spring or a fall before the snow hits or yeah. before the snow melts. That's excellent advice. If somebody's doing the Trans America Trail and that other road is impassable for one reason or another. Go what, south. What was it, 168? Y'all, it is so quiet out here, my ears are ringing. <laughs> I'm not liking hearing myself chew. <laughs> <laughs> so do any of you guys carry a Walter water filtration system? One of those pump things? No. I did. You have I a don't straw. Have. That's the filter. I've seen several different kinds. That's what I have too. I, think. I like the one that looks like it's a, a pouch that you just roll up and it pushes out the water. That's it. Filters. That's the squeeze pouch. There you go. Chris has got everything. But the cool part is it comes with a syringe. Um, so that you can clean it. So you push the water, push clean filtered water back out the opposite direction. Uh, but you see, I've got it set up. Sawyer. Mm -hmm. I've got it set up to where I can do a quick disconnect. So when I'm traveling overseas, oh. I'll disconnect that and insert it here. Right on. So then I can just use normal water right out of the tap. But every time I take a drink, it's being filtered. It slows down, you have to suck a little harder. <laughs> but <laughs> well, what is it in this stuff? <laughs> now, you, you, you do have to push it, put it, get a little more um, pressure to yeah, more effort to get the effort. water, yeah. but it works great when I was in Mexico. Right? I saw this inventor. He made 
30 foot tall structure. I guess I'm gonna say it's nylon or cotton. I don't know, wouldn't say it was cotton, but it was just strings everywhere that went down to a collection. So the they dew. Would wick the dew in the morning. Go down to a filtration system and then push it out. And he's putting these things up all over the place and it's, it's creating gallons of water a day. You'll need there, to wipe it off. There is a knife in there. Pull the spoon off. That thing is sharp. Does anybody else gonna have any? Why? Might as well keep it clean. I oh, just there didn't, you go. I didn't yeah. want to double dip, but if nobody else is gonna have any. I'm good. Well, there's a lady in Africa that invented something like that, and she learned it <clears throat> by watching the, there's a beetle that lives in the desert. Hmm. And it goes out, the crack of dawn, when there's dew, does something spreads its wings or something like that, I don't know, but dew collects on it. Well, maybe it's the outer hard shell of its wings. And it rolls down and pools right in its mouth. Hmm. Collecting the dew off of the air, making clean water. Having lived overseas, they used to talk about how you dig a, kind of like a funnel shaped area and you put a piece of plastic mm -hmm. over it. And then you put a cup. Put a rock in the middle. Rock in the middle and all the mm -hmm. condensation that pulls the moisture out of the sand. And, Mm, that was a, yeah, that was a neat one. Uh, birch tree. You can pop a hole in the birch tree and stick a, um, a, a reed up in there and it'll just start pouring water out. Just, huh. and it said, the guy said- No, that's maple syrup. Yeah, you no, got said, it all wrong. He said, it's, he said it's, it's clean, it's cold, which was surprising, huh. and it's sweet. Huh. Things to know, things to know. You done? I am. Consolidating I'm going to wash this and t take a hike over there, see if there's a trash can. If not, we'll be packing it out. That's right. right. Leave I'm nothing gonna, but footprints and photographs. I'm going to I'm gonna stick it in Chris's bag so when the bear <laughs> shows up, he'll be going for his bag now. <laughs> I'm going to take a walk. <laughs> Except for these bear tracks over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you have what you need against that. I do, I do, I do. I got good feet and two slow buddies. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're more scared of you yep. than we are of them. Of course, that might be a close second. Campsite's right there. Oh yeah. Man, you guys, this is just amazing. Mm-hmm. And the road's good too. There's another campsite. Wow. 
Holy moly. Bet people come up here and mountain bike. I'll bet it, yeah, it's probably a pretty popular spot. So what happened to Jason? Well, he toppled over the edge because he was trying to turn his Cena camera on. Right? <laughs> the, the footage was just too epic, I had to take a chance. He, was, he said he wanted a new perspective. It bring, brings new perspective to Ride Connected. <laughs> Jason, are you down there? Yes! Oh, you're yeah. still connected? I've got a Cena! <laughs> so cool man you guys earlier we got detoured from our transamerica trail route and then uh we reconnected with it and then we did another little detour to end up at natural bridges national monument state park look at that can you see that bridge that's just crazy how in the world has that rock not fallen in half like <laughs> that is cool Anyway, we are finally uh, down here into this uh, little southern area and it's heated up again. Snow earlier today and it's like 75 now. It's beautiful. We're gonna beeline it up to Haiti and uh, camp for the night and then carry on our way. I think Steve found the best place for a nap. Wind and shoot. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Photo opportunity.